What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online www.whatsupinthesky.com Back at you again two days in a row two videos last video is a very important one took me a little while to get together But this one should just blow your mind um, Want to thank uh, Let's see let's go over to my website real quick. What's up in the sky.com. We got a new guy MIK 74 he's a new member he put this up the other day uh, right as it came out, he actually put it up. And, of course, Todd jumped on it. Welcome to the forum. And Todd did his, his magic with it. Then uh, today, it looks like we got a new image of it. So I went ahead and made a, a composite. Here was the one I was able to get out of it. And check that this was the first one that we had. Uh, the, except for all these other. Look at these. I mean, this is basically, we are above the waterline looking at ruins. I mean, this stuff is like what we've been dreaming of. All the anomalists I know are just going absolutely insane right now, are loving this stuff. You can see just the shapes, the the actual architecture of it. But as we found over to here, here's my, uh, my composite. So we're looking at two pictures. I'm going to show you where you get them from. Here was the original one. Now, this will be linked as description below or on the website where you're going like, to if you go to the website there's always an article where you get all sorts of uh, like close-ups enhanced images and then you can download the whole enhanced image so I took these two right here and I created this right so not too bad not too shabby let's take a look at some of this stuff like I said we knew once we got above the waterline we were going to be looking at some amazing things but I never thought they'd put this stuff out so fast. And I'm thinking that they're doing it is because this slow disclosure rollout thing seems to be coming faster and faster and faster. So let's take a look at some of this stuff. Now, if you don't watch my videos a lot, take, a, take yourself back to a planet that's been destroyed. It had a, a civilization there. We're not 100% sure how high-tech it was. I believe it was at least high-tech enough to build um, Pumapunku, pyramid, Egyptian pyramid, Mayan period, pyramid type st you know, structures here on Mars, um, just like we did here on Earth, maybe even coinciding with them. Maybe we, at some point, cross paths. Who knows? It seems like everywhere we've looked at in our solar system, we found... This type of architecture. I mean, even on comets, we're finding things. We're sending rovers. So it's, it's pretty amazing. Um, so let's take a look at this thing. This was the the, the bloody one. <laughs> I just could couldn't take my eyes off of it. I mean, from here, and this is what they first came out with. This was this was the a little bit further off. But look at all the kind of like blur blocks in it and stuff. The kind of the little blurs you can't see. What's weird about you know. You're walking along an image here, and all of a sudden, you can't see this part of it. So what was on that? If this, with the you know the circle up here, the cutouts, um, was so intriguing, God, I wonder what was right there. So let's see if they did the same thing on this. Now, pretty much blocked out. See how it's blocked out? Hopefully you guys can see that. Let me go ahead and flip it up. See how it's kind of blocked out there? So whatever was on there, and let's flip back to the other one. It's even worse on this one. Seems to be cut off. Most likely recognizable, um, you know, hieroglyphs, stuff like that. Check out some of these pieces around it. Just too cool. You've got a, uh, you've got, well, first off, you've got these pieces in the back. This looks like metal to me. Uh, molten metal, whatever happened here, definitely Mars took a thrash. Um, you can see the structure in this piece right here. It's pretty amazing. Look how, let's make this pretty big on the screen for you guys. Sometimes I forget that you guys, some of y'all are looking on <laughs> very small screens. Um, coming up, it's got these, these patterns in it and things like that. Just too cool. Too cool. Laying right next to it, you've got something that comes all the way down and kind of opens up. There's circles at the end of it. Over here, you've got perfect 90 degree shaped blocks. Comes down to another 90 degree, and it's basically laid out just like you'd have a block here on Earth, where you set a block, set another block, set another block. Now imagine 
if that block was destroyed with uh, enough force to melt, I mean, vitrify pieces. We've seen vitrification all over some of this stuff. Um, it's absolutely amazing what we've actually seen when you put the stuff together. Um, so, I'm actually making videos at 2.30 a.m. here. That's how exciting I was about this one. and wanted to get this one out to you guys. Um, down here, check this out. This looks just like my granddad's old banjo case. See how that comes around right there? Of course, it's not a banjo case. Please, somebody do not write an article saying there's a banjo case on there. Um, and then let it go viral so it makes us look stupid. But that's what it looks like. See, it comes down around here and comes up. But look at the uh, the symmetry just in it, in, in these in these areas. Here, you got this comes around here perfect. And it looks like right there you've got two little two little blips there in the middle of it. This piece to me too was just structure written all over it. Look at that. You got one a lip here that goes with it. And what's what really gets me when I'm looking at these ruins, and see a lot of times I I've, I've been looking at space imagery for about fifteen years now. I'm thirty five years old, been doing it since I was twenty. But I've also been, you know, an avid uh, I live close to the beach. I live close to Skyline Drive where you can hike. See, been out to Arizona. I've seen the Grand Canyon. I, I've been all around. And when I look at this stuff, um, I look at, you know, pictures of ruined cities too. Uh, Tiwanaku, Pumapunku. Um, now, now, places like uh, Gobekli Tempe that they're pulling at, that they're digging up, Beautiful. I mean, we're talking the sand. Absolutely, they they buried this city, and it absolutely is in perfect shape. So I'm wondering how many cities actually got buried. So you don't see, you know, just this devastation on Mars. We're still finding stuff here on Earth. I think, uh, hopefully, as a civilization, we'll be able to become um, a civilization that can actually be on two planets. You know, if we're not already, there's a lot of people to think there's a space program that already is out there. Um, our secret space program, Solar Warden, if you guys uh, are interested in, in looking into that, uh, go ahead and just type it on in, Solar Warden, right into YouTube. Uh, people think that we've got much more technology than led on to believe. Uh, that's that's not just you know United States, we're talking all the other superpowers as well and alike, so... This piece to me was just pretty interesting, especially from the first one as well. Let's see. Come down here. It just kind of comes up. It's got these pieces that come down. And here on this one, you can see it too just as well. See, the bevel comes up. It goes down. What are the likelihoods of nature doing that? I mean, it, it, it just doesn't do it over and over and over again where you've got all these pieces put together strewn about just like you would find in, in somewhere like Pumapunku where it was destroyed now now what you see on the pictures if you look at pictures new pictures of it it's kind of been cleaned up and, and put in different places and but if you look at pictures uh, especially like in Egypt and stuff when some of the explorers first got there oh half the stuff was buried in the sand it looked just like this stuff this thing right here, to me, it was so interesting. What is that? I mean, it looks almost like a, a tool of some sort. To me, it does. Um, so much to look at in these images. I mean, we could sit here all night and look at this image. I want you guys to come download this one for sure. And download my uh, download the big one, because I'm going to go ahead and I'll put it up there in, uh, in the high-quality format, in the 300... DPI, and I really hate working with these raw images that they call them. NASA does, because you get these blur. I mean, you don't get the, you don't get the 100%. I mean, how co how come an image? And we're look, we're working with mailing cameras, you know. And like my buddy Key says, yeah, once they're out of the situation, we're going to be much better because they're the ones that do a lot of the obfuscations and a lot of that. Their cameras are designed to 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 obfuscate. See, we don't get to see everything. Only they do. So that was the first one on 1452. And once again, here's the one that I came up with. Here's a little bit brighter. This is the one I'll probably put out on the uh, the page. 
But let's take a look at some of this stuff up top because it almost looks like we're, like I said, we're at the top as we keep going, we keep going, we keep going. This keeps on going up. I, I've seen some other pictures from it. I'm waiting for the rest of them to download. I mean, we're, we're fresh off the rover right now at uh, 1454. Look at this. Like I said, look at the blocks. It, it was just built up. This was absolute ruins. I, I can't. I mean, I can't put it in any other way. Like I said, I don't even want to say rocks anymore. Look at this. Look how perfectly square the base of this was. Whatever happened to it. On this side, this stuff looks intricate. Like it had faces or something carved into it. Who knows what exactly it was or what its function exactly was. But the fact that they're showing us now, like pieces that absolutely man-made or, or Martian-made, whatever you want to call it, it's very similar to me. I see human. I see. I, I feel a connection to this. I don't know if you guys feel that same connection, but I, I feel like, uh, I feel actually sad sometimes when I look at this devastation, like a, a, an actual visceral just connection to it. And like, a, sometimes I sit here and think, I hope that we don't end up in this situation where, uh, you know, our planet looks like this one day where we don't get to actually dig up all the Gobekli Tempes and uh, Tempe, all these places that, that we still haven't found, tunnel complexes that just go deep, deep into mountains. Um, there's just so much out there to find. And I wonder how much is out there on Mars that, that you know, they never got to find. Who knows what their antiquity was? It could have been, uh, like, same thing here, a great flood or, or, or something lost, a cataclysm lost. From what it looks like, from what we found, and I'm talking we, a lot of us researchers, that there were two, three, four different time periods here. You've got ruins that look almost pristine in some areas. Then you've got ruins that look very, very old, very rusted up, very, uh, just much older, like you find here on Earth, where you find, uh, well, normal archaeologists won't say that, but, you know, some of the forbidden archaeologists will say, this stuff doesn't fit our timeline, where we find giants and we find much bigger pieces, much bigger blocks, uh, skeletons of people that were 10 feet tall, 9 feet tall. Um, you know, we still have people like that today, but we're talking where they were found and then hidden from us. So check out this stuff, whatever it was, when it was destroyed, it was almost like everything was heated up. As I move around here, I know you guys start getting pissed off. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than this. I mean, it, it's just beautiful to me. But what do you make of this? I mean, it, it almost looks like a circle. It's got a piece here. Uh, it, absolutely gorgeous. That's all I can say. Um, love to hear what you guys think below. Comment in the comments. Hit like if you can. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. There's 670 videos on my channel to keep you occupied. This stuff is, is what what's up now, but we've been going back now, and especially on the website. Todd on the website's been going back, checking out the PDS files, and it's hard to get away from this new stuff. Even though it's coming down with the crappy 70% saved JPEG raw files, not the actual real .img with the dot label that you can, you know, make a PNG, make a TIFF file and get a real raw image, which I can't wait till this stuff comes back in because I'm just going to be praying that you don't get this obfuscation in it, you know. But depending how far along I think that they're going to be on their disclosure cycle is how long it's going to take. But check this thing out. I mean, it looks like we've got really long bars. This could be metal. Um... And of course it could be, but it could be anything. You know, when you get this puke color that NASA gives us, and this is an enhanced color right here, here's what it actually, the color that comes from Mars. You know, here's how it comes. Like I always say, butterscotch puke. Here's that piece right there again. Here's another piece that comes down off of it. You could be looking at rebar. Who knows what we're looking at here? But what we're looking at time and time again are beveled pieces, pieces that look 
decorative, ornate. Look at this. One, two. These are like little circles that used to be, you know, that look like they used to line the whole piece. Um, these are some of these are missing right here. I'm, you know, speculating. And then you've got the blur, the blur that comes over things like this. Why was this not blurred, but this is blurred? Even down to the shadows. Why was this one blurred? You know, but these aren't. You know, what what's the what's the deal? <laughs> you know, come on. We're on to you. We we've been on to you. I think that we're all part of the disclosure. That's the wonderful thing about it. It's going to be a slow one. As much as the people that watch my videos and get into this stuff think that the world can handle a lot of this, a lot of people still can't. I think that's why we're doing the slow. It's going to be first. There was life on Mars. We uh, have pointed it out. It's going to be the people like myself, people who are out there doing this, that finally get it across. I don't think the, the media is not going to do it. It takes you guys sharing the videos, sharing the pictures, sharing the website links, and not being afraid to. I mean, not being afraid of the, the ridicule you'll get from certain people or, or speculation, because most of this is speculation. So you're you're going to get heat, even sometimes if you just share things. And it's like, well, you share something political nowadays, you guys get heat from it. So this stuff really stirs up, for some reason, uh, an awful lot of, of, of heat. <laughs> I'll just leave it at heat. So, all right, guys, let's pull this one back up right here. Let me show it to you as big as I can get it. What in the world? Some sort of machine piece, something that came falling on down. It's got very intricate patterns in it. Who knows if it's been cut off, if it, it, this was part of it, was, was pieced up here. Who knows? So I'm just speculating, but I just had to show it to you. Let's see how long I went. I went pretty long on this one, I think. 16 minutes, not too bad. Much love to you. Hope you're having a good one. As always, check out the website for the enhanced version of these. It's going to be good. And I know you guys see like a thousand things I didn't see here. So feel free to come share with me. Share it on the website. Share it down below. Much love.